Good morning! It's day six, our last day at sea on the Disney Fantasy. We are really looking forward to a relaxed day, but we also have a lot of things that we want to do. We're looking forward to churro Mickey waffles, shuffleboard. Chris is going to do a um, kind of a tour. Art of the theme show. Art of the theme show tour. So we're just really looking forward to doing some of the things today that we haven't done yet. Having a relaxing day. So we can't wait to share it with you. Carrie and the girls are going to go off to breakfast on their own. I'm going to do breakfast by myself because I'll be doing the tour. I think we're going to head out. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. There go the girls. They're heading to Oceaneers Club to do a little interaction with Dr. Strange. Before heading to Meridian, I had a little extra time. I heard they had churro Mickey waffles here at Cabanas today, and they do. Never had these before on a Disney ship, and I can't wait to try them. Sorry, Mickey. You got to get in my belly, though. Best way to have a Mickey waffle at sea. Churro Mickey waffles. They're good. Don't miss out on these. All you gotta do is ask crew members here in Cabanas what morning they're gonna have them. But I think they have a schedule and they'll look and they'll let you know. That was good. Took care of three churro Mickey waffles with this amazing view. Not mad about it. I'm gonna head up to Meridian on deck 12, and which is only, I think, only one deck above, and enjoy the Art of the Theme Show tour. Been looking forward to doing this. They didn't have it on the Wonder when we first sailed last October. Wasn't back yet with all the COVID restrictions, but now that those are mostly going away, it's back and can't wait to learn all about this ship. Next time we're on one of the smaller ships, really looking forward to doing the same tour on one of those, just to hear the differences of the two types of ships that Disney has. We are at Oceaneers Pub. There's an open house, and Dr. Strange is here, so we're gonna say hi. Hello there, sorcerers. How are you friends today? Good. Doing good. well. What are you up to? Anything planned? Very good, very good. I was thinking about opening a portal to so that deck up there, but it's a bit windy. My cloak wouldn't like it very much. You know, it's got a bit of a mind of its own. Have you tried the Mickey or the churro waffle? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It tastes pretty much what it sounds like. It just tastes like churro and waffle form and shaped like a Mickey head. It's not like, whoa, that's the best thing I've ever tasted. But it's good. It's very good with um, whipped cream and syrup, but tastes like a churro. Yeah? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I think the churro waffle is amazing. Yeah, it tastes like a churro. I, I think we're going to not listen to Lindsay. I think she's not awake yet because it's amazing. It's okay. It's not like the best, but it's still good. The inside is like a churro. The outside is like a churro. So it's a churro. I've never been the biggest fan of churros. Oh, well that explains it. She's really? not the biggest fan of churros. Well, it's amazing. It's amazing. I prefer the chocolate chip pancakes. You can never go wrong with those. Yeah. I can get chocolate chip pancakes anytime at home. I know. You can't get churro good. Mickey waffles anytime. Not for breakfast, surely. Oh well, yeah, that's fun. They have something for each of us. Alyssa, can you say what you just said that you're excited for for tonight? Marvel trivia. I should that I'm a really big fan of Marvel. You should have said that to Doctor Strange and he's asking what else you're doing. Oh yeah. Well, I've got. She watches Marvel movies and these TV shows like non-stop. Like whenever I come down to the living room, whenever she's there, she's either watching she's either watching Mickey shorts or Marvel movies. You feel like you've been preparing your whole life for this Marvel trivia? Or at least for the last few months. Yeah. For, for the last few months, I've watched all the movies. So you're ready to win this for us? Yes. All right. My name is Warren. I'm a member of your entertainment team here on board the beautiful Disney Fantasy. We're more about letting you know how we kind of came up with the theming and the thought process behind how we designed each of our spaces here on board. A 1947 Cheval Blanc is the exact same bottle of wine that a one Mr. Anton Ego drinks in the culminating scene of Ratatouille when he tries Remy's Ratatouille. Fun fact about that bottle, <laughs> it is one of nine left in the world. Any wine connoisseurs in the house that want to venture a guess as to how much uh, that particular bottle is going for nowadays? About 25000 About twenty. You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> we ate at Remy last night, they told us. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I 
connected with Alyssa and Carrie. Uh, we played shuffleboard up on deck four for a little bit. Now we're gonna do midship detective agency. Lindsay is hanging out with some of her friends from Vibe watching movies. We've never done midship detective agency and we're just gonna experience it right now. Hey, how about you? Can you help us? Oh, I don't think so, Carmen. I, I think we could do better, okay? No, no, listen, really, we need your help to find our missing props or we won't be able to put on our show. So we found Pepe, the King Prawn store. That'd be so funny. I've heard if you call this number when you're on board, you might hear from Pepe. Well, well, that's fun. So far, it's really fun. They have paintings all over the ship of different things, and then some of them are secret paintings that have a, a clue in it that you can use your badge to unlock, and then a little video starts. It's pretty. You know which of those paintings are part of the midship detective agency because they have like a like a bronze or golden medallion right in front of it it's kind of like the little thing at uh, universal that you put your wand at it's, it's really similar we just finished the midship detect detect uh, we just finished the mid we just finished the midship detective agency say that three times fast yeah seriously or even one time slow i apparently can't say it and it was really fun what did you think Alyssa? it was fun it seemed like she had fun because when we were done, she wanted to do it again. You have three different options of different cases you can solve. So we picked the Muppets one, which was really fun. And we picked that one because we knew it had that little hidden door, the small door that we wanted to go to. Chris found that out somehow. So we're back in the stateroom waiting for Lindsay uh, to show up. And we're going to go to Sweet On You, uh, the sweet shop here on the Fantasy up on deck 11. So we made our way up to Sweet On You. We found Lindsay waiting for us. We're looking at all of the gelato options in here. It's a lot. So many good options. <laughs> Why yep. did we not come here yet? We popped in here to look at it, but we haven't actually got anything from here yet. I came in here and got something. Alyssa beat us to this place. We're looking forward to getting some sweets, and then eventually we'll have lunch. They have one case full of gelato options. They have another case full of just regular ice cream options, but all the flavors look and sound really good. So we just grabbed a seat here in Cabana's after getting some ice cream at Sweet On You. And you can, mostly because it's nice and air conditioned in here with a nice ocean view <laughs> behind us. But uh, I got lemon cheesecake and strawberry, chocolate covered strawberry. Both are really, really good. Lindsay keeps wanting to steal my chocolate covered strawberry because I think she likes it better than what she got. <laughs> the lemon cheesecake gelato has huge chunks of cheesecake in it. It's so good. And the cookies and cream, it's also good. I don't know why. I have a hard time making choices. I didn't try any of these samples and I just like felt all this pressure to make a choice and pick these ones, but they're good. So I got the um, chocolate Kit Kat and butter pecan. I think I like butter pecan better and I kind of wish I got two scoops of butter pecan, but um, they're both really good. So I got um, chocolate Kit Kat and Dolce de Leche, that's what I got. And it's, they're really good together, but sadly it's kind of hard to eat them together. So we finished our ice cream and we were debating, should we get lunch since we're at Cabana's already? And we're like, I don't think we really want to have like crab claws after I had some ice cream. So I got crab claws and a lot of other yummy looking food. And they had sushi there at, was one of the options today for lunch, which is great. I love sushi. Lindsay got some sushi-ish there. It's like a shrimp California roll. And then she also got some chicken with her rice. Thai chicken with Thai curry. I got a little bit of that too, along with some focaccia bread. Carrie got... I got a pomegranate chicken salad and some sun-dried tomato cream pasta and cream of parsnip soup. Alyssa is the only one who stuck to her guns. She didn't get anything. Yeah, I didn't get anything. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> too much ice cream? Yeah. She's just staring out in the ocean, dreaming of big blue water to swim in. I'd be terrified if I fell in. She's hoping to find wildlife and fish and other things like that. And wondering how deep it is. Yeah, like a mile or two. So we're about to leave Cabana's and I just realized as we were there, there's all these clocks on the wall. There's one for Disneyland Paris, Disneyland California, Disney World, Tokyo Disneyland, and Hong Kong Disneyland. So it looks like 
dad got a whole fish extender thing to himself are my ears on. Well, I think it's for all of us. Stickers of Princesses, Milan, Belle. Oh, it's also Olaf. in. Olaf. And Olaf and um, what's oh, his face? Cool. Jack Frost. Jack bunch. Frost? Yeah, people ship them for some reason. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay's mad at me because I'm making fun of her getting dramatic about her video game glitching. It's not a video game! What it's is a it? a mobile app! Come on. Stop. If you have teen daughters, maybe you'll understand. I love being a dad. I do. I especially being a daughter. Especially in moments like this. Alyssa went off to Edge to play Gaga Ball. Carrie is taking a shower and she's getting ready to go relax and read for a while while Lindsay and I are going to go on the aqua duck. Wow, that was... <laughs> <laughs> so Lindsay and I are gonna go to deck 11 or deck 12 and do the aqua duck. I have not done it yet. I'm the only one in the family who has not done it yet. I just want to experience it at least once. I'm also hoping to go on it at night sometime. But after that, I think Karen and I are gonna connect and hang out in the cove area, quiet cove area. That hasn't been so quiet on this cruise. At least when I go out there midday, it's a lot of loud adults when I, when being I loud. When I go there, it's a little, really quiet. I have seen it quiet there, but like midday, like between lunch and dinner, it's kind of loud. So we might check that area out. We also, I also wanna take her up to Sapphire Falls. I saw that area of the ship in the forward part of the deck of 13, I think. It looks really relaxing and quiet up there, actually quiet up there. So looking forward to doing that on our last at sea day. We're doing all sorts of things today. It's kind of a little bit of everything, trying to get in all the things that we've wanted to do but haven't done yet on our cruise, seven night cruise on the Fantasy. Sorry about that. Did you just talk in a British accent? Are you faking a British accent when you're not around us? I'm not faking it. <laughs> it's real. I'm part British. Oh, okay. We are about to do the aqua duck. I have the GoPro. I'm hoping I can take it on the uh, slide. We'll see. Well, we are on the go again. Today has been a lot of random stuff that we've done, but I think that's what a normal day at sea is supposed to be like. You're going the wrong way. Oh, I just went the wrong way and Carrie's like, Chris, you're going the wrong way. That happens a lot, especially on the fantasy. It's so big compared to the wonder, at least. We are headed to Bonavista Theater for family bingo. We did this on the wonder last year on our first cruise and we had a lot of fun. So we're gonna do it again. Girls are gonna join us a little bit. They're gonna stay in the stateroom while we purchase the bingo cards and stuff. Bingo? Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. We can just get you to line up on the left. Oh boy. So we are in Buena Vista Theater for bingo. It's jam packed in here. It's super full. The jackpot is like $7,000 and a lot of people are turning out for it. And I think there's not gonna be enough space for everyone. If you, it's good that you got here early. Yeah, if you go on the last day of your cruise, you wanna get here early apparently. The last at sea day. It's been a while since we played bingo. Looking forward to it. Not sure if we'll win, but we're hoping we will obviously. <laughs> The girls will be helping out. Alyssa has got some punch cards. Lindsay has some punch cards. Hopefully she pays attention enough. I'll get off my phone once. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the game's gonna start any moment. Bingo just finished. We were close to getting the jackpot of over $9,000. We were two away on a number of our cards, but a young guy right below us won the whole thing by himself. He won $9,498. That's nuts. And, then, and he didn't have to split it with anyone. No one else won. That's crazy. Yeah. Super cool for them. We're super happy for them. So be near them and encourage them and be excited for them. Not sure what we're doing next, no, but we'll figure it out. Hi. <laughs> we are at Satellite Falls, which I've seen and walked by a few times. Carrie has never seen it. It's so cool. It's really nice. You have an open view of the ocean. From the front of the ship. From the very front of the ship. At the very top point. Yes. Deck 13, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is amazing. We didn't win bingo. Yeah. 
we came kind of close. Yep. The, well, it came close because the kid in front of us won. Yes. That was yeah. really fun to see. Yeah, it was. We were only two away. That was a very close to $9,000. It was almost $9,500. <laughs> Crazy. We're going to enjoy this video for a few more minutes before we get back to the state room and get dressed for Frozen, which is playing tonight. I guess we'll see you guys then. For now, we're just going to enjoy this time together, just in the quiet and uh, relax until we get going. Carrie and I made it up to the room. Just enough time to change. The girls are ready <laughs> because they're the responsible ones. They got in line for snacks, popcorn, and I think they're probably already getting this inside the theater. Frozen's about to start in just a couple minutes. We're gonna join them. We've seen this before in the Wonder. It's really good, so we're looking forward to seeing it again tonight. We found the girls, made it down. Not the best seats, but we also knew we wouldn't get great seats. Every show has been packed out this cruise. Goofy. <laughs> Thanks, Goof. Have a good night. You look dashing, by the way. at Royal Court tonight eating dinner with our girls and it's the captain's gala I think uh, menu with <laughs> captain's gala dinner which means lobster and there's just a lot of really good things in the menu we just put our order in right before dinner we saw frozen what did you think of frozen Funnier and more like up to date. Okay. I've seen like hundreds of times and it wasn't that different. It was still fun to see. Yeah, the, the cool thing that we loved about Aladdin is the guy who played Genie had a lot of jokes that were way more contemporary than the movie was. So that was really cool. And we, we loved Aladdin. I don't know if we talked about Aladdin after we saw it. We really, really loved that one. And we love Frozen. They do a great job with it here on the ships. We also played Marvel Superhero Trivia, I think. And Alyssa was the star of the show for, at least from our family. She made it to what, the top four? Or yeah. Top five? Yeah, top four. top four. Well, they were also doing comic books, not just movies. It's fun to watch everyone. And You did a good job. Thank you. After trivia, we got to take a picture with Mickey and Minnie in their formal attire, which was really fun. It's semi-formal night, so we're not super dressed up, but uh, Minnie was wearing the same dress that she wears in the sculpture at the bottom of the stairs. So that was really fun. She, she looked really beautiful as Minnie Mouse, and it was fun to interact with them. And then we ran into Goofy, which was super fun, yeah. and took a real quick picture with him. So now we're here, excited to eat lobster and have a great dinner. I just need to add one more thing that we were talking about right after we turned off the camera a second ago, which is that Lindsay has an extremely high standards. You have to completely wow her for her to say something is good or great. Um, because Frozen was great. Uh, the Mickey Turtle waffles were great for both of those today. She was like, yeah, they're good. But then again, she can also be like really wowed by very simple things like buttery noodles or anything that has to do with Lin-Manuel Miranda. I like Sam and Cal. Tonight I got three appetizers. I got the marinated prawns and the prosciutto with um, Parmesan cheese and southern tomatoes and Russian garlic. Also got the eggplant and then oxtail soup is the next course. Well, that's a lot of food, but um, it's really fun to taste so many things. I love eggplant. Unfortunately, this eggplant is a little disappointing. It's just the sauce is like really bland. I'm still gonna eat it because I'm hungry, but I mean, honestly, it just tastes like canned sauce. It's not very good. Bummer. Now I will try the oxtail soup. That's pretty good. The soup is a um, similar broth as the French onion, tortellini in it. It's pretty good. So I've never had oysters before. 
which it looks like there's some breading on it. Why not try it here since it's available? Because, you know, I don't have to pay extra for it. It's already on the menu. You can order it. If I don't like it, I don't have to eat it all. I'm gonna put a little lemon on it. Good idea. How do you eat these? Do you like use your fork, I guess? There we go. Yeah! Definitely has a kind of fishy shellfish taste. I would expect. I wouldn't say I love it, but I like it enough to keep eating it. Hi, Lindsay. Just in time for your tomato salad. I fell Oysters. Down. You fell down the stairs? Uh-huh. And Dad's trying to give you an oyster. Oyster? No. Are you okay? Fine. So, basically, I went, to the, I went upstairs, went to the bathroom, and then as I was coming down, I saw Peter Pan, I'm like, hi, Peter Pan, and I was like, hi, Peter Pan, and then as I was waving to him, I tripped and I fell down the stairs. Did Peter swoop in and save you? No, that would have been nice. What did Peter Pan do? Oh no, he was like, he's trying not to laugh, but I could tell he's trying not to laugh, but he's like, oh no, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Like, oh no, are you okay? That's my girl. Sadly. We're both a little funky sometimes. We got the lobster tail, and I am so excited to try it. You gotta dip it in the butter. We already put some lemon on top. I also got the lobster because it's the captain's gala dinner. It's lobster night. You gotta get lobster. At least if you like lobster, you gotta get it. And I like lobster. I don't love it, but I like it. But I also got venison medallions. And last time I had venison is when I went hunting in Colorado with some buddies. Wasn't that good, but I really want to try it again. See if this redeems it. It's good. It's not super tender. And maybe it's just because how they cooked it. It seems like it's cooked fairly like well done. The flavor of the sauce is really good. So the sauce really helps it, but it's kind of okay. I really like the lobster. Yeah, it's really good. How's your curry, Lindsay? It's good. I haven't tried the chicken yet. The pumpkin curry is good? Very good. It's a tiny bit spicy, but uh, it's not that hot. Y'all are savages, you know that? Yeah, this was in like 20 seconds. Look at that. Uh, I know. Should have gotten four lava cakes and one of everything else. That lava cake is really good. The um, creme brulee is also very good. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Get your spoon out of there. This is yours. What do you like the best? Oh boy. Never mind. What do you like the best? Yes. Okay. Christopher, stop it. Are we embarrassing you? <laughs> Dinner was good. The dessert was probably the highlight of the show. The meal was good. The veal tenderloin? Yeah, exactly. The first piece I had probably was a little bit too well done. Almost every other piece after that one was actually cooked more like a medium. And it was a lot better. A lot easier to cut through, a lot easier to chew and eat. That dish got better as I kept going. Lobster was good. My, my lobster was pretty good. Carrie's, the, Carrie didn't love hers as much. But the dessert was amazing. The apple pie was definitely really good. The lava cake was the best. It was super good. The ice cream sundae was great. And our children have now ditched us, but we're going to meet up with them later for karaoke. We're going to go down the beautiful stairs and we're going to try not to trip. Into the atrium that is usually roped off. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you love me, don't you? Carrie, I, I asked you if you loved me still. So. You didn't answer. All her friends over there. Can we get sticker? Yeah, we can get sticker. Yeah, I think we're very full. <laughs> you start all your videos like that. <laughs> We had our last at sea day today. A lot of random things I think we tried to fit a lot in today since it's our last at sea day here on the Fantasy. Tomorrow we have Castaway Key, our first time going on Disney's private island. We are so excited to step foot on Castaway, relax. Alyssa and I have the Stingray adventure that we're gonna be doing together. And we're just gonna relax, enjoy the beach. The girls are looking forward to all the fun they're gonna have as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, smash that like button. We'd love it if you could subscribe. Thanks to all you guys who already are subscribers and for 
taking the time to share in our family's adventures. If you don't want to miss any of our videos that come out on our channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. Right now, we're actually heading out. Carrie and the girls already left. They're heading up to family karaoke. I'm going to head up there right now, and you're going to see a few clips from karaoke where one or maybe both of our girls are going to sing a song and just have fun with it. Thanks. We'll see you again really soon. Bye. Does everybody give it up for Lindsay and Alyssa? <laughs> what is this feeling so sudden and new? I felt the moment I laid eyes on you. My pulse is rushing, my head is reeling, my face is flushing. What is this feeling, fervent as a flame? Does it have a name? Yes. Loathing, an adulterated loathing. For your face, your voice, your clothing, <laughs> let's just say I loathe it all and I will be loathing, loathing you my whole life long. Dear Belinda, you are just too good. After you stand it, I don't think I'm good. She's a terror, she's a terror, we don't need a terror, but I'm a spectacle lender here on